Hey, good morning. It's Tony here at Smart Toyota. Today we have a brand new 2021 Toyota Camry SE all-wheel drive. Silver Sky Metallic is the uh, color on this one. And this one has the cold weather package and the all-season, all-weather floor mats. So in this video, we're going to dive in and find out what's what, what's new, what makes the SE unique. Let's get started. So let's get started up front on the SE. The, uh, the idea is they're looking for a sporty look on the Camry, and the SE really kind of gets there, I think. We've got a mesh front grill, and it's a big, bold grill kind of a flat black in color which looks really nice contrast with this silver sky metallic paint job large Toyota badging up front and then of course on the Camry SE you do have safety sense 2.0 so there's a lot of technology bundled up into this little tiny box up here in the windshield so you've got uh, lane departure pedestrian detection dynamic radar cruise control a lot of great technology up there. Let's take a look at our headlight package. So we've got LED bi-directional headlights, LED daytime running lights, and both of them have an auto on and off feature. And of course, we also have automatic high beams on all of the uh, Camry lineup. So a lot of great safety and a really nice aggressive look up front. Okay, heading down the uh, driver's side, Really great body lines on the Camry give it a nice, as I say, a sporty look and appeal and that's really what they're going for on the Camry with your rocker panel skirts really lowering the profile of the vehicle. And of course then we have these piano black cast aluminum wheels, four wheel disc brakes all the way around, anti-lock brakes, traction control, of course this is the all wheel drive version so this will get through the snow quite easily. Take a look up at our mirrors. You can see we've got LED indicators in the mirrors. These are folding mirrors, and they also collapse or break away. So if somebody comes by with a shopping cart or a bicycle, minimize the damage to your mirror. We do have blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. Of course, they're power operated. And then they also have a heating elements in there to de-ice them in the winter time. The trim up and around the windows, they've got a kind of a chrome trim here, matte black finish here which ties into the front grille. Sunroof is not standard, it is an option, but you do get that color to match shark fin antenna which adds again to the styling of it. Colored to match door handles, gas door here on the driver's side. Let's go ahead and swing around to the back. Take a look at what comes on there. Notice we do have wraparound tail lights with your marker lights here on the side for added visibility and safety. Let's go ahead. Okay, diving into the trunk, we've got a nice large lip opening here on the trunk, and it is wide enough right here across the back for two sets of golf clubs. Should fit your drivers quite nicely. Now the trunk does have 60-40 uh, fold down seats and the little handles to do that are right here. So you can tug on those and drop those seats down. There's uh, tie down hooks or, or cargo net uh, hooks here on this side. And then you notice that this one does have the all season floor mats. Those are an extra charge. So you get the trunk and you get the front driver and front and the rear passengers. Down underneath here is where we find our spare tire. And this is a temporary spare tire, so not a fix-a-flat fix situation. And then down underneath that tire, there's room if you want to put your jumper cables or what have you. Attention to detail is really a big deal for Toyota. So you'll notice that the deck lid is insulated. Not all cars have that, so check that out when you're shopping for a car. And then there's an emergency release handle, which is glow-in-the-dark in the event that somebody gets stuck in the trunk. Let's go ahead and uh, step back and take a look at the rear of the car and uh, let's dig in and see what uh, what's unique on the back of the SE. So your SE does have 
a color to match rear spoiler right here up on the deck lid. We've got an uh, LED third brake light, rear window defrost, chrome badging down here, and you can get the blacked out badge as well. Camry, Toyota, SE, and all wheel drive, they're all chromed out. Notice your tail lights wrap into the deck itself. So a really nice sharp look that, that uh, silver looks great on there. And then we do have a backup camera right up underneath the uh, license plate there. Dual chrome exhaust tips coming out the passenger side, but nothing here on the uh, driver's side. It's interesting though, when you go to a hybrid, the exhaust come out the left side and on a gas, the exhaust comes out the right side. So kind of an interesting thought on that. Not sure why they did it that way. Let's go ahead and uh, dive in the uh, driver's seat and see what we can find. Okay, into the driver's side. On the door, first off, we do have power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, and then you're gonna see this brushed aluminum trim throughout. Nice uh, accent there on the door. It's all black except for the surround on your windows is actually a charcoal gray. Speakers down here in the doors, and then we do have bottle holders in the doors as well. Take a look over here on the dashboard. Automatic high beams, traction control on and off, trunk release, gas door release, and part of the cold weather package, you get the heated steering wheel. So that turns on and off right there. Tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Take a look at our driver's seat. So we do have the eight-way power driver's seat, power lumbar support, and these are gonna be a soft tech fabric seat with uh, cloth inserts kind of those gray stripes, a gray racing stripe up the head or up the back, and then a height adjustable headrest, as well as a height adjustable seat belt. And then again, this one does not have the sunroof. So we'll give you a quick look up top, and then we'll go ahead and dive in. Stop. Okay, behind the wheel, this is Toyota's three-spoke steering wheel. It is leather wrapped and it's heated as part of that cold weather package. The switch to turn that on is down here. We also have fingertip controls right here for our sound system and our Bluetooth connectivity and our information center, which is up in the gauge cluster. Over on this side is your cruise control, dynamic rated R cruise control, and your lane departure on and off switch. And you can also change the, uh, the stations on the radio right there as well. Over on this side, we've got wiper controls with intermittent wipers up front, paddle shifters, so this allows you to shift up, headlight controls over here with your automatic headlights on and off, and then your paddle shifter for shifting down. Take a look at our gauge cluster. Stop. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, go. Okay, on the SE, in order to start it, you've got to use the key. This does not have a push button start, so it's kind of your traditional switchblade key, but you can see it does have power window or power door locks, trunk release, and a panic button, and then it all folds down into your hand quite nicely, but it is not push button start on the SE. So let's go ahead and put the key in the ignition. Start it up. So that's what it looks like when you wake it up in the morning. Go ahead and close those windows. Now we have a black cluster with white backlit 
numbers and, and needles, so your needles are all white. It looks really nice on here. Information center is right here, which you can see we've got the clock there, and there's also a fuel computer, outside temperature, and you can change your settings for your safety sense by using the controls right here. So as I kind of toggle through, it'll provide different information, digital speedometer, and then we can also set up our pre-collision, our lane departure, pedestrian, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert. So there's lots of things we can set up here. And then there's indicators up here that tell you what's active and what's not active. And on this side, speedometer, fuel gauge, tachometer, and your temperature gauge. So that gives you a quick look at the gauge cluster. Heading over to our center stack, I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust that temperature because it is warm in here. So let's take a look at our center stack. This is a new center stack for the uh, Camry for this year. So last year it was integrated into the dash. This year they kind of brought it up more like a tablet. So it kind of sticks up and out from the dash now. Give it a little bit different look. Um, on the SE edition, uh, we do not have navigation. Sear satellite radio. SXM radio is on there. You get three months of that at no charge. And then you do have, or we do have Bluetooth. We have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and it's Alexa compatible. The gauge cluster itself, or the center stack, is surrounded by a lot of that gloss black trim. So it does look very nice. It does show the dust, though, uh, which some people don't like. But I prefer to know it's dirty so I can clean it, than try to hide the dirt just my personal preference. Automatic temperature control is only on the driver's side, not the passenger side. We do have our, our rear window defrost and our heated outside mirrors. So when I turn on the rear window defrost, I'm gonna get the ice off the mirrors. Great feature. Turning our attention down to the center here. Let's go ahead and turn that on. We do have a USB charging port, 12 volt uh, outlet there. There's a storage compartment right here, and then if we open that up, you can see it's kind of hidden down in there. There's a kind of a cubby, so that's a nice place to hide stuff, keep it out of sight, out of mind. Now we do have a CVT automatic transmission. The shifter is leather wrapped, and I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in reverse so you can see the backup camera. It, it does have track... Um, um, prediction so you know exactly which way the wheels are turned and the red line means you're getting close enough it'll also beep at you as you get too close take a look at our center uh, console this is kind of a, a charcoal gray similar to what we saw on the doors dual cup holders the cold weather package does have heated front seats not back seats and they're not ventilated but in Wisconsin it's nice to have the heat parking brake is here and it's an electronic parking brake. And then we'll take a look at our armrest. So it's plenty big for two arms. It's stationary. And then when we open it up, you can see it's got a ton of space down under here. And we've got uh, a USB charging port and new for this year, a USB-C charging port. So that's kind of nice. Charge both types of devices. Quick look over at the passenger side. Passenger seats, the same as the driver, soft tech with fabric. There's some of that uh, brushed aluminum accent we talked about before. Here's your glove box. A padded dashboard with kind of a gray contrast stitching. And then this piece here looks metallic. I'm sure it's plastic, but it, it looks like almost like carbon fiber style. Here's a look at your dashboard. Turn our attention up toward this center console. So there's a sunglass holder up here. There's LED reading lights right there. Safety connect. And then we have an automatic, or not an automatic, but a manual day-night mirror, standard day-night mirror on the SE. Our visors on both sides are, are uh, not lit. I'm surprised that surprised me. And then they do come out and we do have visor extensions, but they're not illuminated. Let's see if the driver's one is. Nope. So nothing there in terms of lighted vanity mirrors. That's that's curious. 
side air impact airbags here so a really great sporty interior and this is the se all-wheel drive interior so jumping into the back seat bottle holders on the doors speakers on the doors more of that brushed aluminum on the door handle backlit power window switch in the back seat those windows do have auto up and down we've got map pockets on the backs of both seats there's a nice storage cubby down here but there's no usb ports in the back seat so i think that's a miss for toyota notice we do have a folding armrest and there's cup holders in there we do have child safety seat anchors down here so you can protect the kids passenger assist grips dry cleaning hooks uh, dome light right there and then here's a look at how those seats come down and that is again that's 40 percent so you can put 60 percent uh, down on the other side of course you can have the armrest down as well so that's pretty nice for our three passengers right there okay diving under the hood the Camry SE comes standard with the uh, 2.5 liter four-cylinder 16 valve gasoline engine now that produces uh, 202 horsepower and it's connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission so fuel economy is 29 miles per gallon combined city and highway and then the warranty on the engine and the transmissions uh, five years 60,000 miles and of course this is an all-wheel drive so that includes the all-wheel drive system uh, in addition to that you do get a three or 36,000 mile uh, limited warranty and then finally every Toyota does come standard with Toyota care and that's going to cover your basic maintenance so any of your fluid top-offs your oil changes anything that Toyota recommends within the first two years or 25,000 miles which is also your tire rotations that's going to be covered by Toyota care okay that's the uh, new 2021 Toyota Camry SE all-wheel drive edition silver sky metallics the color on this one and it does have the cold weather package and the all season all weather floor mats so we've got a sticker price on this one a little over thirty thousand hey if you like the video go ahead and uh, hit that uh, like button questions comments concerns or maybe you want a specific video let me know in the comments this is tony at smart toyota thanks for watching